Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about the themes in uh, Spider-Man Homecoming. There are no spoilers outside of Spider-Man Homecoming, so uh, this is a safe space. Uh, I will make a separate video that will be out probably tomorrow uh, on Spider-Man Far From Home. And then Spider-Man No Way Home will be, don't worry, no spoilers for that. I haven't seen it yet, so you don't have to worry about it, okay? Spoiler-free zone. If you haven't seen my, uh, my cover of the Spider-Man theme... Uh, you can click the link in the description. I think it's pretty good. I think you might like it. Um, and other than that, we're going to talk about some light motifs. Quick refresher if you haven't seen my breakdowns of the Avenger movies, or uh, I did one of every episode of Loki, uh, and we ended with an awesome interview with Natalie Holt, the composer. Um, if you haven't seen those, basically, a light motif is just a little melody that uh means something in the show and so every time these two characters are in love then this melody plays every time spider-man's on screen this melody plays so we're basically going to go through and you can deduce uh certain things from that uh depending on what's happening on screen so let's dive right in so we're going to start with the spider-man theme of course um and it is taken from the original spider-man theme which is just so great so first let's remember the original one Right, so that is the kind of tonal center that we're listening to. This minor triad with the six. Okay, and so he takes that. Same notes. Uh, pretty cool. So instead, it sounds like this. to get it in our head we're gonna listen to a whole bunch of examples of it like way too many because it happens all the time he loves just using this as like peter parker doing peter parker stuff it's just like it's just always in the background when he's doing stuff but it is still important to know that like if you hear this which you will in the new movie i promise if you hear that sound it means we're probably fine. So any variation of that. Let's check out a few examples. Okay. So these are just the chords, but it's still his theme, right? So. Spider-Man figuring out stuff. Okay. Again, this is just like the him living his life doing Spider-Man stuff. Not particularly heroic. A little bit more heroic, right? Okay. Oh. Just That's swear. A sentimental okay. one. I swear. No. Now we hear the heroic version. Because he's leaving the party, remember? Reconnaissance drum. Whoa. Is that what That's awesome. Locating optimal entry point. Being a hero. Proceed to southwest. Gets one in that. I love that Ned gets the uh, the Spider-Man theme there. Uh, and then this is Spider-Man's overcoming an obstacle moment, quite literally. Um, and you know, this is the emergence of his uh, hero version.
and emerging. Is it weathered? War torn. And this is the end after all the action. So the arrival point. Avenger Spider-Man is born. And this is just the final little scene. So that's our main theme when you watch the Far From Home uh, breakdown I do as well. It's the same theme, so this is one we can grasp on to. This is, this is our main theme. This is literally like the title sequence theme. We know it. We love it. Speaking of love, we do have a love theme in this film, although it is not, not a super fleshed out theme because there's not a lot of time for them to have these moments. Think about like the character. So Liz is the Vulture's daughter. Remember, that's a big reveal. And uh, she gets sent away at the end to like Oregon. <laughs> Her character arc is is very limited. Um, because she's the head of the debate team and the homecoming, de- whatever. Like, it's all of this stuff, but basically all they do together is, like, he goes to the party and ditches uh, to be Spider-Man. He goes to D.C. for the debate thing and ditches to be Spider-Man. He goes to uh, the dance with her and then ditches to be Spider-Man. It's just, like, he's in love with her, but, like, <laughs> is he really? He's more in love with the Spider-Man part of this thing. So... What's really interesting about the theme is it's not its own theme. It's a play off of the Spider-Man theme. And I think that's actually kind of brilliant because, yeah, the love is not something that we're supposed to be super attached to. But it is, you know, it's a little it's a little fling, a little romance. So it goes like this. Right? Uh, and so these two chords are... except it's now in major. And the melody is... Okay, and that's basically it. Uh, And it comes back just a few times because again, there aren't that many moments of it. Uh, But let's check them out. My place, and and then I'll come by afterwards because for the most part- This is the first time he sees her? In the movie. That'd be great. Okay. Did you not hear her? Liz has a crush on you. On the cello? Dude, you're an Avenger. If any one of us has a chance with a senior girl, it's you. Next, when he's talking to his suit AI uh, about it. Hey, Liz. She's, <laughs> she's the best. She's awesome. She, yeah, she's just a girl who goes to my school. And then the clarinet comes and, in. Uh, yeah, I just, I, I really want to tell her, but it's kind of weird, you know? Hey, I'm, I'm Spider-Man. What's weird about that? What if she's expecting someone like Tony Stark? I mean, imagine how disappointed she'd be when she sees me. Well, if I were her... Super romantic. It's the job done. 37 minutes. What? So, uh, is everyone okay? Uh, you wanna go with me? Yeah. <laughs> really? I mean, uh, great, cool. Cool. I'm actually. Going that way. Right? So, it, I mean, the whole time it's really just. Just these two chords. It's a very limited 
love theme for a very limited romance. Next up, we have a couple call-outs to the Avenger theme. It always shows up. It's very, very beautiful. The Alan Silvestri Avengers theme. Um... Right? Uh, so first comes up at the very beginning of the film when the Vulture, before he's the Vulture, you know, eight years before the events of this movie, he's looking at a drawing from his daughter. We don't know that yet. And, uh, and it's of the Avengers. And so we hear the theme there. And then we hear a couple versions of it uh, when we are moving out of Avengers Tower. Remember, we're moving upstate. And so old Avengers Tower gets this kind of, you know, disjunct version of it. And then new Avengers uh, compound has it again. All right, wheels up in eight minutes. We just got to load Tony's old Hulk bus. Okay, next we have a really interesting theme that um, holds true through uh, the second film as well, and it's a play on the Iron Man theme. Remember that? That's the Iron Man theme. If you haven't seen uh, my video on all of the Avengers stuff, you'll, you'll hear the Iron Man theme in those. So Michael now takes that theme and creates a theme out of it that is uh, Stark's like responsibility bestowed upon Spider-Man. It's this kind of fatherly theme a little bit because uh it starts out if you remember homecoming i know it was a long time ago uh this is where spider-man's like trying to save the day and do all this stuff and stark gets mad at him because he's putting himself in, and others in danger in the process um and so that theme will start there sounds like this <laughs> Was it? I think you've done enough. Now, here's a very simple but a very masterfully done uh, technique for light motifs. You take it from the minor to the major. And uh, what that sounds like now is. Right? And that's a very different feeling. It's the exact same theme, right? Uh, but this responsibility has now been fulfilled, or even more than that, right? This is the end of the film where Stark and Happy are like, okay, we're going to go announce, you know, Spider-Man as an official Avenger. Here's the new suit. And uh, Peter Parker's like, I think I'll stay neighborhood Spider-Man. And they're both impressed. And so uh, it sounds like this now. How does Spider All right, we're in major now. I gotta talk to the kid. I'm a close behind. How about a little small? Okay, boundaries are good. Sorry it took you so long. I mean, you had a good week. Actually, it turns out it was. Mr. Stark, I just grew the pooch from the bottom. And again, that one comes up in the second movie as well, so it would make sense that it maybe comes up in the third. We will find out. Uh, but that is Stark's responsibility uh, bestowed upon Spider-Man. Okay, let's get into our main villain. We have the Vulture, Michael Keaton's Vulture, right? Um, and interestingly, at the beginning of the movie, this flashback to eight years before, He's not a villain yet. Nothing has happened. He's just cleaning up, you know, the wreckage of Avengers 2012 with his crew. And he's got a lot of work. He's got a big government contract. And he's generally, like, providing for his family. And he's happy. He's not a villain yet. So we hear his theme, but it's not his villain theme. It's just his regular theme. And it sounds like this. <laughs> It's 
actually really beautiful. villain was made this guy is is backed into a corner he's got no other choice he's like all these people rely on me my family everything and she is like no it's not my not my problem uh so that's the beginning uh but not the end the villain is actually made when one of the other government officials uh just kind of standing there with a clipboard goes next time don't overextend yourself right and uh that's he just snaps and uh this is that moment What'd you say? Yeah. He's right. I overextended myself. There. Now a villain's been made. And so now, same theme. But now we're in minor. Okay. So for the first couple clips, he's kind of figuring it out and then we cut to eight years later when his operation is already you know going he's got the whole vulture suit made and that's the first time we really hear it there it is Our first on screen. you the shocker. Oh, that's him. Freeze, FBI! Oh, Get on the ground! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Whoa, 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 whoa. So that's our vulture villain theme. But there's this moment that I find super humanizing and very interesting. Uh, so if you remember the storyline, his supply chain kind of gets cut off and he decides he's going to do one last big thing and then close it up. And the last thing is to try to intercept the plane that's moving from old Avengers Tower to new Avengers Compound. Uh, and so he has the high altitude like system to get in the plane. And when he finally gets on the plane... We hear the vulture theme, uh, but it's not the villain vulture theme. It's as if he's the hero. We're seeing it through his eyes for just a moment, which is like, this is my ticket out of here. You know, this is my ticket for my family and the people who work for me to be able to stop doing this because we're going to have enough money to live off of. We don't need to do this anymore. Uh, and seeing it through his eyes with his hero theme playing, it's really interesting. This is what that was like. Hot dog. How 
how interesting is that that uh, the light motif in the in the score can actually shift our perspective from of course we're going to be identifying with the hero for most of it but all of a sudden it's like see it through his eyes for just a second like this is his ticket out of here um yeah pretty interesting but of course spider-man foils that and we go right back to being a villain Get out of there! What are you doing? The Vulture theme. Not too bad, right? Only only a few themes to keep track of in that one. Uh, but we are going to build on a couple of these uh, for Far From Home, the, the second installment of the Spider-Man series. Uh, I will get that out as soon as I can. I hope you enjoy these. If you do, uh, please check out the whole back catalog. Like I said, we have uh, most of the Avenger movies. We have uh, all of the Loki series and a cool interview with the composer of that. Um, and hopefully more to come. So uh, I'm excited about the new Spider-Man film. I hope you are too. If there's anything else that you caught or anything you find interesting, please comment below and do all the things uh, so more people can see this stuff. And uh, I'll see y'all real soon. I believe the second one will be coming out tomorrow, as far as I know, if the uh, copyright stuff uh, gets cleared. So uh subscribe for that uh if you want to help support this kind of thing you can join over on patreon at patreon.com slash classical trombone uh, i do make my own music as well if you want to check that out i have an album called half man half machine on all of the things and that sounds a little something like that. <laughs>